I believe this will help you if you are involved in a project. You know already some of the jargon, you know the questions to ask. So I think that would be very helpful for you to keep an eye on this. Don't ask this, don't ask them who's involved. I'm sure you can answer that one, but what do we ask them? Can I check the stakeholders list? As mentioned, it's not often created, so that'll be, that'll be a good test. Don't ask, where are we at? Ask, can I see the last project report? Because I want to really see numbers, I want to see the real thing. Don't ask, have we thought of something? You can say, can I check the risk register? Because the project manager might tell you, yeah, yeah, we thought of that. But if you can access the, the register, then you know all the key risks. You can select only the key risks and you can check what are we going to do about those and who is owning them. That's a much more granular view of things. And also you can see, oh yes, there is this older risk too. I haven't thought about that one. It's good to know that they've, um, they've thought about it. Don't ask this. Any problems? It's just too vague. And if, you know, you, you, it'd be very hard for you to differentiate the, the, the small problem from the big problems. So what I suggest is, you know, any key issue in the issue list. But you could have an issue that starts the morning and then the evening it's solved. If you go and see a project manager and let's say she's at a desk and you go to her and you ask her, do we have any issues? And, and she tells you, oh, yeah, yeah, we have this. Oh, that this just came up and I'm really overwhelmed by it. Uh, but, it but, you know, it might just be finished by the end of the day. So she must just uh, be thinking about that issue now because it seems critical and it just came up. But you want to have a look at the long-term view as well. You might have issues in your issue list that could be even bigger than the one she mentioned to you. Don't ask any change of plan. Ask, any change request approved? Because once again, it has to be approved until it's a change of plan. Say they tell you, oh, I don't know, they want this and they want that, but f this is just noise until it's approved. Then you're better off just knowing what has actually been approved. That removes all the noise. How did we go on this project? I've heard everything went well, is, is that true? <laughs> any lessons learned? Can I see the document? Can I see the PIR? Because it's very vague. Once again, I mean, it, it depends how interested you are in a project. Obviously, you might not care that much, but if you care a lot, let's say you want to, you're a project manager and you want to do a project that is very similar. You're not going to ask the, the PM, you know, how did we go? You say, can I see the lessons learned document? If they don't have a lesson learned document, the best thing for you to do is you ask the project manager, but also ask the other stakeholders. Because the project manager that have a very specific view, <laughs> say, oh yeah, it, it, it went okay. But the stakeholder might have a completely different view. I mean, the, and the other way around, the project manager might, might think, oh, that was issue after issue after issue, but the technical teams or the stakeholders might, might just think, it, yeah, it went okay.